Ladies and gentlemen, we have our first hurricane of the hurricane season. Hurricane Andreas. I guess the people who made the movie San Andreas paid Mother Nature for a promotional tie-in. Anyway, this hurricane is harmless. Asterisk. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. Stay cool. Hit the button, baby. Hit the button, baby. So stay tuned, because who knows what we might find. Let us learn some shizzle. Here I am talking about the weather again. Because I found some shiz I thought I would share with you. We once again have our giant whipped cream can explosion into the sky. Coming from the south. But the real reason I'm here is this bad boy. The real reason I'm doing this video is Hurricane Andreas. A. It's pretty much just been sitting in the same place. Rapidly rotating. And B. It's become a water monster. That's right. I'm going out on a scientific limb here. I'm going out on a scientific limb here. I'm going to describe it as a scientific... A water monster. Remember last year... Tons and tons and tons of hurricanes formed in the South Pacific and about this region. So that is Andreas. And I don't know what that is. It looks like a point of interest. But let's get to the real deal Holyfield point of this video, which is something very interesting that we need to keep our eye on. We are now looking at one of my favorite observation tools, Total Cloud Water. And if you'll notice, Hurricane Andreas is a water collecting fool. Look at all this water, the total cloud water that's formed in and around here. And then this over here has collected all this water. So we have, we have those two giant water pools. And of course, Southeast Texas is getting hit. Up to the Plain States, up through Illinois, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Canada, heading to the East Coast. So to me, those are serious areas of concern. We need to watch this. I don't know if it's going to be pulling. It's going to give a water trough through somewhere. Now we're looking at total precipital water and just see how tons of water moisture are collecting in this region. I mean that is a lot, a lot of water. Now what's going to happen to it I don't know but we're going to keep our eye on it. See how it's kind of slowly staying in the same spot spinning helping to create a lot of the moisture and you've got these winds blowing in here. Crazy stuff man and this looks like at some point, California will be getting a lot of water, but no, no guarantees, man. All right, so on a simple and easy, just keeping our eye out, because that's what we like to do. And they say all the wet weather is finished in North Texas. I'm not so sure about that, but we will see, because we are wet and flooded and at record levels for sure.